It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Yuan Zhao, from the land of Runan, a legitimate heir to the proud Yuan family, Yuan Shao lived as magnificently as the court nobles. His impeccable nature earned him the respect of the people throughout the land. The coalition against Dong Zhuo was formed by the regional lords when he took control of the capital. As the leader of the coalition, Yuan Shao led his men to Luoyang and successfully removed the tyrant from power. After returning to Ji, Yuan Shao crossed the Yellow River and defeated Gongsun Zan. Although Yuan Shao took control of Hebei, Cao Cao was on his way to conquering the Central Plains. Although he had originally intended to restore the Han to its former glory, Yuan Shao began to feel the Han would never be as strong as it once was. Therefore, he decided to create a new kingdom, led by none other than himself. Little did he know that Cao Cao had similar plans. Both Cao Cao and Yuan Shao knew that there could only be one ruler. In the year 200 AD, Yuan Shao led a full-scale attack against Cao Cao. After many feats of valor and countless deaths, the fighting finally came to an end. Yuan Shao would stand victorious over the Central Plains. The Han Emperor, although powerless to begin with, bestowed all imperial rights upon him. Yuan Shao became the new emperor, and thus a new era began. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. With the chaos ended, there is no longer any need for the Han! The Yuan family shall build a new empire! <laughs> <laughs>